Tonight, our series The Missing continues to put a spotlight on some of the tens of thousands of missing person cases reported every year in Texas with a focus on those that are sitting unsolved and families that hope the public can help fill in the gaps where police are stumped. And tonight, two daughters from San Antonio travel to Houston looking for their mother. It's been 11 years and we wake up every morning, every second of every day with our moms replaying everything over and over. A lot of people that have missing cases and stuff, you know, you see them for a while, then you don't see them anymore. I don't do that. I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to stop. Tuesday, December 7th, 2010. 2.42 p.m. Juanita and Paula's mother, Paulina Diaz, left work at an H-E-B in San Antonio. The next night, Juanita went to Paula's house. And told me they couldn't find my mom, but they found her truck. And right at that moment, I felt that was it. She was gone because mom doesn't ever disappear. Everything just, I felt like I took a bullet to my heart and tunnel vision, everything went black. But they were sure she wouldn't have left on purpose. Her phone was still, was in her house. It turns out Pauline's estranged husband had visited her minutes before she was last seen. At the grocery store, at 2.30, whispering in her ear. They say Paulina left her work area in a rush. It was in disarray, but she clocked out and walked out with that man. Surveillance footage shows her speaking to a woman on the way out. It took us, what, eight years to find? We kind of sleuthed in and found who that person. You've been sleuthing on this. Yes. We've been doing a lot of uh, private, private investigating. <laughs> and we have gotten leads to where people say they seen her at a Walmart gas station with a man and they have even gone as far as to that house and it turns out wrong identity. After more than a decade, they still believe that the estranged husband holds the clues. She wanted a divorce. He wouldn't give it to her. He wouldn't give it to her. She moved out, went back to her original home, and um, he kept stalking her. He kept stalking her, you know, following her, going everywhere she went, you know, um, as well as my, my daughter. He was also calling my daughter, you know, but when, once everything, um, once she went missing, everything stopped. She, he changed his number. He didn't go look for her, nothing. And this is why we're here because his son lives here, and I want the son to see that this is not going to go away. If I have to live with this memory, that man is going to live with this memory also. It's not going to fade. If it was one of us, she would do the same. And I will do everything in my power till the day I die to get our answers. All they want is closure. And like we saw last year with the Gabby Petito case, sometimes public pressure or public input can be what moves a case forward. So one of the best things you can do is share this story from our website, which families say means the world, even just to help them feel a little less lonely in their search. But if you really want to dig in, join our loyal group of Fox 26 sleuths on our weekly streaming show, The Missing Live. This Wednesday, 7 p.m., Pauline's family is going to hop on for a live Q&A. So you can ask questions. We'll dig into the case. You can join on our website or on the Fox 26 YouTube page. Or if you want to interact, be on the Fox 26 Facebook page. Again, that is Wednesday night at 7 p.m.